Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at the Mirage 2000C and setting up the HOTAS or the joystick controls. I have an X56 Cytec. You will probably have a different stick, but what I will show on the screen when I'm doing this is exactly where on that Cytec I am setting up those buttons and you can emulate that as best you can. The best thing you'll gain from this is which buttons you need to set to your HOTAS for this aircraft. So let's go on with it. Options, controls, Mirage 2000C. In case you're not familiar with this screen, this is the control here. There are hundreds of them, but we only need a handful of. Here is the category which that action belongs in. Here is the keyboard bind that we've got set up for action. Here is the left HOTAS, i.e. the thrust stick side of the HOTAS we've command we've got set up. Here is the joystick, the right side of the HOTAS that we've got set up. And you may or may not have foot pedals, which would be in a separate column. First thing we're going to do, as ever, is axes. We're just going to blast through this. I've already got everything set up, so I'm just going to essentially tape over them and show what I've got to set up and how I've got it. First, you will need zoom view. It will need to be on an axis command on your HOTAS. This allows you to focus in on objects. It will be basically impossible to fly without this. I've got it on the left HOTAS. It's a turny knob on the top of the thrust stick, as you can see, known as Joy Z. Okay, and I can apply it and just test it like that. Thrust, only got one engine. Double click here on the left HOTAS, move the thrust stick forward, move it back. Okay, test it. There we go. Next, we've got rudder, roll, and pitch. It's going to be on the right HOTAS, the joystick, obviously. I have my rudder on a twist stick on the right stick. You may have it on foot pedals, so that depends how you're going to do it. I'm going to double click there, move it left and right. It's picked it up as joystick RZ as the rudder. Okay, I can test that now. Okay, it looks fine. And we want to tune these three axes here. Rarely do you want them linear. And what you want to do is first add any dead zone so that the red dot there, which is where your actual stick is lying in its neutral position, is in a that neutral left to right lateral line there. And if you want to add any curvature, which I suggest doing, that's up to you. It's a person by person basis. I add 25 for most of my planes. It gives us a bit more control around the lower movements of the stick and a bit less at the higher ends of the stick. Okay. Next, we're going to do roll, move the stick left, move it right. Okay. Axis tune, doesn't need a dead zone. I will need a curve, 25. Okay. And pitch, move it forwards, move it back. Okay. Add a tune, need a little bit of dead zone there. Just to filter that out, get my curve on there. And that's that done. Mm, that's the hardest bit done. Next, we're going to go to all now if you want to find these commands that i'm going to point out what you will do is go to search there and type in the command that you want so for instance if we wanted wheel brake type in wheel there and you can see we've got wheel brake there just to speed this video up what i'm going to do is go all here i'm just going to go through the commands that we need so first countermeasures and you can see this is on the rear of the thrust stick for me we've got decoy panic release there enjoy button 28 and we've got the program release so panic release there and a program release there for the proper countermeasure program release on the right of the thrust stick we've got autopilot here there are other auto command pilots that you will use in the cockpit but i just have this one on my hotas to engage the autopilot when necessary on the right of the thrust stick we've got air brake on off in button 20 and 22 you'll need both of those commands next on the base of the uh, thrust stick if you like i've got these switches here for radar on and radar on else standby basically this allows me to turn the radar on and off joy button six and seven and on the top right on the base we've got start procedure and stop procedure if you can't be bothered to do the full procedure yourself. That's all I've got on my thrust stick, which is nice and simple, like keeping it simple. Now over to the control stick. So first of all, we've got our weapon release, which is our main trigger, joystick button one, fire, weapons fire, bombs release. What I call my trigger two on the side, right side of the joystick head, we've got magic slave, also does air to ground designate, also does INS position update. Button on the very top head of the joystick, I consider tr trigger three. If I press that, we've got STT, TWS, toggle. So it's target lock button, basically, and toggles between those two locks. I have a button on the left side of the stick. It's actually a kind of uh, movable stick, but if you push it, we get weapon system command depress. This removes a radar lock if we've got one. Also on the front or rear, depending how you look at it, of the joystick at the bottom, we've got this here, nose wheel steering. Also IFF interrogate. A very front trigger of the stick, if you can see that, is wheel brakes there. I always have that set up as my wheel brakes. 
That's going to be joy button six. We have three four-way hat switches on the top of the stick as well. The top right one is going to be trim, and we're going to have trim up, down, left, and right, like thus. The lower right one, we're going to have our weapons, and I'll keep this as uniform between planes as I can. The lower toggle of that, I'm going to have CNM AA gun that selects our gun. Left is going to be stores to select. That's one of the ways we've got of selecting our S530D missile. The right moment gives us selects our magic, CNM magic. And the up movement is CNM neutral. Essentially, that deselects our uh, CNM magic. And on the left four way hat, we've got just two movements upwards, gives us system weapon system command forwards which allows us to use the weapon symbology on our HUD uh, bombs missiles whatever uh, and uses ACM radar modes as well and aft which will disengage symbology on the HUD for our air to ground weapons and it will allow other ACM radar modes for close combat locking that's all I've got on the sticks. Now I've got some more stuff I need to put on there, but I'm more or less out of room on my sticks. So we're going to go to the keyboard now to move the radar and uh, to configure the radar. We've got TDC up, down, left, right. I put that on my cursor keys on the keyboard. If we want to pitch the antenna up and down, we go to the numpad on the keyboard. We've got antenna up, antenna down. If we want to zoom in the display of the BVR radar scope, we've got range increase, decrease, and I've got that on the numpad plus and minus. Want to change the PRF if we go to the numpad on the keyboard, we've got insert or zero, PRF low. If we want to go dot or delete, we've got PRF interleaved and enter, we've got PRF high. And that is my Mirage complete. So you might want to go and watch that video and just slow it down the bits where you need to slow down. But that's everything I've shown. If you want to add more controls to your Mirage, then please go ahead. This is just the basic skeleton that you'll need to pretty much do everything. Hope that was useful and see you later.